guys, here's my crush YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my top five games that I think will be really good games and potentially close ones. Now, if you're new to the channel and you're watching this for the first time, welcome to your first um, top five video. So, I top five games, I should say. And if you're a Tony Magpie, welcome. Now, if you do watch it and you haven't subscribed, Please subscribe, please like, let me know what you think, comments below, it means a lot to me. Um, trying to reach that 100 subs, probably by the end of the year, um, but I like to get more than that, of course. Um, try and build my channel up as, as, as much as possible. Um, but how I do go through, the, how I do go through it is I'll pick five games on the weekend. And I'll go through and I'll, you know, let you guys have your say. So you guys can comment on it. This is my opinion. I'm happy, happy to have a discussion as much as possible. Now, the fifth game I'm going to say, Bulldogs versus North Melbourne. I think mean, these two teams really, you know, they've played in class games before. Um, Second time that Bulldogs and North Melbourne playing against each other at Marvel Stadium. Big game, big crowd, big atmosphere as well. And this is something that we can always see as potential as much as possible. Number four, for me, John versus Essen. I feel now that these two teams, um, they've played in like the, the country games. They played in like a, the sort of like finals, if you really want to say. But they're playing like close games. So they're playing, excuse me, they're playing close games before, you know, plenty of times. And I think that's the reason why I've got them up there for that particular reason. I still think they're a wonderful team. They always give the heart, you know, Play the heart out at the moment with Essen and, and as much as, as anything, I think it's great to see. Number three is Sydney versus West Coast. Now, this would have been at the SOG. This is going to get moved. Who knows what at this point? Oh, it's in Geelong, I'm pretty sure. Um, the reason why I say th these two teams, uh, this game in particular, they're in my top five. And I'll explain it simple. These two teams are playing close games, like really, really close games to the finals, grand finals as well. Even after the grand finals, that they've kept that record intact in the way that they've gone about that. Um, I just feel like you just never know what to expect out of these two teams as much as possible. Um, for my number two, Fremantle Cult, uh, actually, no, Hawthorne versus Port Adelaide. Um, the reason I, s I say that is. Hawthorne versus Port Adelaide, these two teams, they've played against each other. Sean Berglund's played for both clubs, playing 400 games. Should be up there. And I feel this is the way we go about it. Um, he's a great player. Um, they haven't played too many close games as far as what I could see tell um but other than apart from that i think i really do like the way he goes about it so i think with that it comes to the experience and i want to i want to shout out here i really do
so Boss had an Easter Sean Berg on. Congratulations, Sean. Um, 400 games. Uh, you know, quick shout out to you. You've earned it. Um, played some really good footy. You look gone now, Paul. But you've done a pretty good job, I think. Um, Five time premiership player and a, a big congratulations as well for you. Well deserved. Um, my number one, Fremont vs Carlton. Now, these two teams have played kick after the signs, have played in. So many close games. Um, these two teams who I feel you get something out of that, but very good result indeed. That Fremont Carlton might be in Perth. Um, we don't know when. It, where and when it will be, but having said that, I feel like we're getting somewhere, we're seeing something that we always tend to like, um, AFL football at its finest, um, you know, very good out of that as much as possible. Um, I mentioned as well, could it easily put Collingwood and Kilda up there, or Melbourne versus um, GWS? Um, the reason why I didn't put Collingwood St Kilda up there because you know we played like in the grand final, but we have played in some close games as well. Um, so back well in the 2010 grand final where we drew against them and, and we won in the replay, you know that tends to be a really a wonderful game to, to watch and. Melbourne Giants, another mention on that. They're playing a ripping game last year, but MCG, big occasion. I think we'll see some cracking games soon. So, that's the end of my video. If you guys do like it, my videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to me if you're an AFL fan. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, shout out to, to Druzy. Happy birthday, mate. Yeah. Good on ya. Until then, go the pies. Footy Shit Studio will come out tomorrow. And the usual talk about Collingwood are coming out as well. Probably do that in the morning or in the afternoon. I don't know when yet. Um, And then the usual, um, I will be doing, um, hopefully a match day vlog, um, going this week. Very excited. Till then, go the mighty